And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Bant Arcbow. That's right, I've always liked Vivian's Arcbow. And we have a donation deck here to try it in the Bant colors. Um, if y'all don't know Vivian's Arcbow, you know, you pay X, you tap, you discard, look at the top X cards of your library. You can put any creature that you want with CMC X or less from among them onto the battlefield. So this is something that you want to hold up your mana on their turn and instant speed use this and put a creature into play. And so since you're doing that at instant speed, you want to be able to also like have the threat of Vivian's Arcbow, but then also be able to cast cards from your hand at instant speed. So you want to play it with uh, flash creatures. And so we have Frilled Mystic, which is also just a great card to put into play off Vivian's Arcbow to counter um, spells. And we have a uh, Nightpack Ambusher. You know, the backbones of Simic Flash. Um, but then to go along with them, we have some just really powerful creatures that you can put in also. We do X is 5. You know, like we put in like a Kenrith, um, you know, that's a devastating card. You know, we can flash in a Thrix also. Um, put that in. Some Tulsimers can mess up combat. But then, of course, the main uh, new uh, addition that we have is a Dream Trawler. Because obviously Dream Trawler is pretty good, but if you can have instant speed Dream Trawler while they're attacking and just get a good 3-5 lifelinker to block with, that's definitely pretty nice. Um, and then you know you get to untap with Dream Trawler, draw your extra cards when it attacks. You can use like one of your extra cards to be fuel for the arc bow while you have your other one um, be the protection for Dream Trawler. So pretty nice combination of cards there. So yeah, we're just trying to... Uh, Trying to get to that that point of the game, we have Uro and Grow Spiral and Paradise Druid to help us ramp, um, and and that's what we got. So this should be a pretty fun one to play. Uh, we got Agent of Treacheries in the sideboard against Slow Decks that we're going to bring in to you know take their uh, Planeswalkers and and stuff like that. Um, a Shifting Ceratops that can also pressure control. We got the vetoes there. We got three Devout Decrees for the mono red and a couple of wicked wolves also to play against mono red where wicked wolf can be an earlier thing that can just be a removal spell against a small creature also pairs very well with tulsimer and a couple of sweepers if we get behind all right so we're going to play this deck through a league we'll play till we win five or lose two whatever happens first so here we go We got 26 land, because of course we definitely want to hit land drops. And if we have extra lands, we can use we can discard the extra lands to Vivian's Arcbow. Thanks, Amatrine. Thank you. Yeah, do you know what Simon Clash is missing? Dream Trawler. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Thrix is pretty sweet. I'll play the Paradise Druid. Like, they're shocking in here. It means, like, Opt, Shock, Dispute. They have some combination of those. So we get to hold up Frilled Mystic if we don't need it. We'll cast Growth Spiral. Growth Spiral is so good. I really want to counter that. But Wilderness Reclamation is just a card I can't really beat, honestly. So I, I guess I have to let it resolve and see if they play Wilderness Reclamation. Then I counter that. Did not play Reclamation. No, don't have any Brazen Borrowers. The Adventure Creatures don't work that well with Arc Bow.
I was hoping to draw... I was hoping to draw a land where I could play Arcbow and hold up Frilled Mystic. Like, that would have been the best. So unfortunate not having these lands. I'm not gonna attack here. It gives them like a pretty easy way to kill Paradise Druid. I'll just Unfortunately our twenty six land deck did not keep hitting lands. So opponents getting getting ahead with their land drops. Basic planes, of course, is pretty awkward with Thrilled Mystic, but it's it's good to have. Cancel. All right, good. We hit a couple land drops. That's, that's very good. So now we get to activate Arcbow for five or cast Frill Mystic, whatever we need to do. It's exactly what we want to be doing. All right, I don't want to let them draw four. But obviously they can they can play Reclamation now if they have it. We do have a couple of Knight of Autumns that we could maybe find. Cool, monkey. Yeah, glad you like it. Yeah, this is Cardboard Live. Pretty excited about having access to that. Trojan Rage, thank you so much for that resub, saying, have a safe move, keep up the great work. And, of course, sorry about Hawkeye. Thank you, Trojan Rage. Moving next week. So next week I won't be streaming Monday through Thursday. Cross-country move. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, it'll be a boring Monday through Thursday. We'll just have to go back and watch whatever YouTube videos that you missed before. Why isn't Uro... Why doesn't Uro have Flash? Seems like that'd be perfectly fair, right? All right, so really good for us getting rid of Wilderness Reclamation. Also, Darn. <clears throat> I'm grabbing Thrix, not Nightpack Ambusher, because of Storm's Wrath. 
feel like if I grab Ambusher, they would just play Storm's Wrath. Because I kind of feel like that's they have another Storm's Wrath in hand. I feel like that's one of their two cards. The very next card. We were one we were one card short last time. I'm just putting the Knight of Autumn in play. Sweet. Yeah, Haw Hawkeye passed away two weeks ago. So I want the vetoes. These other Knight of Autumns. We'll take out the Time Wipe, take out the Tulsimers. Um, Ceratops is okay. It does get Storm's Wrath. I think I want to keep this stuff. Um, Hawkeye was 12. Um, I think I have one Paradise Shirt, one arrow. The... Developed cancer in his um, his like nostrils and in it and on his tongue and especially like the on his tongue meant that he just wouldn't couldn't eat anymore. Just use these fable passages. Yeah, he was a very special cat. He is unlike any other cat I've ever had. He would um, he would come whenever I'd call him. You know, I could be in a different room. And call him, and he would come running. It's not very, not very like a lot of cats, but. Yeah, I I think that probably playing Grow Spiral is better than playing Goose. Because Gilded Goose just doesn't ramp all the time. You know, it ramps one time, but then that's it. I think you want something that ramps all the time. I 
These are the only two lands in the deck that don't add blue or green for Frilled Mystic. There's one Plains, one Castle. Boom. All right, the wolf fight. We got our wolves were bigger and better. <clears throat> the biggest wolves around. Okay, and we're one to know. How's band going? So far, so good. Picked up our first win. Hello. And then we can have Frilled Mystic or Ambusher available next turn, or I can just cast the Uro. But I think... We want to shock in and have Ambusher Frilled Mystic up. Ambusher Mystic. Or Night Pack Mystic. Or Frilled Ambusher. Looks like a five color Niv Mizzet deck. Looks like a five color Niv Mizzet deck. I guess I'll just ambush her now since we only have the four mana. I want to play the Arc Bow, and so I'm not going to really activate Arc Bow for two or for three. So we'll cast the Uro also. I want to get Arc Bow in play. What's my favorite tricolor deck? Could be Bant. Um, I like, I do like Bant. Bant, Naya, Abzan.
Do I pay two life? I mean, obviously I have to kill this fire's invention. Do I pay two life to grow spiral? Probably not. Makes it a risky of, you know, dying in two attacks. My favorite guild is Selesnia. Yeah, Selesnia is my favorite guild. Forest was a good draw. Let's put this arc bow back into play. All right, we got seven. We get to look at the top seven. Hopefully find a Frilled Mystic to counter Casualties of War. We'll ditch the Paradise Druid, of course. Surprised they attack there, honestly. Mike! Thanks for that resub. I wonder if... I wonder if they have just like a hard sweeper. I guess... They only have one white source. Probably, so the answer is probably not. Aw, thank you so much, Massacre. Thank you. Yeah, he was certainly a very, very wonderful cat. Yeah, they, so yeah, even if they, they would have to have time white plus they'd have to have another untapped white source. So it's not, not real likely. But it is a possibility. Oh, I guess I shouldn't be playing that land to be able to disc have that land discard for Dream Trawler. Right. I need to, you know, remember that we're playing Dream Trawler now. The moon looks intriguing I have to get... Tonight. That to grab like goose. Goose. I have Clarion. Much from my you're ancestors. just you're just dead on board. Now I could just attack. You had to grab goose. Yeah, sometimes we're getting chicken, sometimes. Not not a ton, but yeah. 
All right, so Agent of Treachery, steal some Niv-Mizzet. That sounds good. Got to destroy Fires of Invention, of course. Um, I think I'll put back, back Kenrith, Thrix. I kind of want to play this Thrix. What would I what would I cut to play the Thrix? I'm just gonna play two Agent Treachery. Yeah, Twitch Prime <clears throat> does have an arena deck for free right now. It's the Liliana deck. So, yeah, you get like a Liliana. You get like an Enter the God Eternals. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, if you have Amazon Prime, you can uh, um, just sign up for a free Twitch account and then link your Twitch account with your Amazon Prime and you then you got Twitch Prime. Then you can go grab... You know, go get free Liliana deck. And also with Twitch Prime, you can subscribe to your favorite streamer, which could be me. If you go over to my Twitch channel, you get a, a free sub if you have Twitch Prime. No, I haven't opened up any Theros boosters. A Twitch Prime sub is the same as being a $5 sub. So if you want to do that every month, I would really appreciate that. That would be a big, big uh, support if anybody on YouTube wants to do that. Yeah, CalSonic, I, I always stream the Mythic Qualifiers. I always do. I'll be doing that again. Yeah, R next to the decks means ranked. So this means that we're playing the decks. The decks in R means we're playing them in ranked. Rivuk with the Twitch Prime sub. See, just like that. Thanks, Rivuk. Uh, Kill Mary says, Hey, Todd, I've been loving your content for a long time. Thanks for your hard work and dedication. I've been playing a variant of Demir Kraken. Okay, cool. It's been a blast. Changed a couple of Chemistry's insights, cling the dust, stuff like that. Okay, cool. You like the flexibility of clean the dust? Cool. I, I should probably give that, that card more of a try. I haven't really tried that card too much yet. <clears throat> Hakuna Banana. JJ, resubbing for three months. Thanks, JJ. All right, opponent blew up. And we're 2-0. Oh. No, I don't compete in Magic tournaments. Just I stream full time, so I do, you know, play all sorts of different decks. Try to um, give everybody different ideas, um, and yeah, I do this every day, or you know, Twitch and YouTube. Hmm. 
don't think we have enough mana here. I mean, we have two lands and a Paradise Druid. But like the Time Wipe, the Dream Trawler, like these are basically uncastable. I mean, I guess if we draw one land, then we get to Frilled Mystic. And start arc bowing for four. You know, just discarding like Dream Trawler, Time Wipe, arc bowing for four. That's good. So basically, we need to draw one land. Yeah, there's a traditional standard event. It's a really good way to build up your gold. You want to, you know, build up your gold, get more packs. Oh, what am I doing? This is bad by me, because now I'm, I'm just giving them more information with their scry. They're like, oh, all right, well, now, I'm, now I know I'm playing against a green deck. That was not, that was not good. Yeah, I, I mean, I used to play in tournaments. I, I've done, I've done that whole thing before. I used to play in a lot of tournaments and won a good amount, but. Now I am just stay at home. Stay at home streamer. I guess we need to hold up Frilled Mystic for Teferi. Thank you, Yud. Monomachus, thanks for that reset. So number nine on the day. Never have enough lands. Yeah, yep, Mike. I le or I pack up on on Monday. I do all my packing. I leave on Tuesday. I should get there Wednesday. Um, yeah, like like Wednesday, like three o'clock is what I'm aiming for. I know, yeah, it is. It's real exciting. I wanted to hit uh, Night of Autumn, of course. But I did it right then in case we did hit Frilled Mystic. Hmm. It's definitely going to just bounce Arc Bow. I know my responsibility. It's not a good chance at all that I hit Frilled Mystic. But maybe I hit some other creature that they want to bounce instead. <laughs> I would have hit the fourth Thrill Mystic. How about that? I shouldn't, shouldn't have discarded Uro. I could have done 
Uro plus arc bow. All right. I think this is just going to end in Dance of the Mans. Killing me. I, yeah, I don't know, Calsonic. I don't... I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. I thought the Kaya card is so good. I already gained like 9 life or something ridiculous like that. been acting like they have a sweeper. They don't get to sack Treacherous Blessing, but they can sack these Golden Eggs to gain life. So they can still play stuff. Okay. Good job, Nightpack. I did not think I was winning that one, to be honest. Let's play more Night of Autumn, more Veto, and more Agent of Treachery. Less Time Wipe, less Kenny, Tulsimer. I already cut the Time Wipe. All right, yeah, get rid of Time Wipe. Kenny, Tulsimer. What are the other four cards I'm cutting? I don't know if we necessarily fold against Control. You know, like, we have a decent ramp with, like, Gross Battle, Uro, Night Pack Ambusher has always been good against Control. Tulsimer, or sorry, Aggro. Tulsimer, Kenrith, Dream Trawler. Like, all those cards are good against Aggro. I think I want to play two Dream Trawler. Like, maybe I just play zero Dream Trawler, actually. Maybe I just don't play Dream Trawler. Because, like, they just play Sweepers and Doom Foretold. Like, that's their removal. It's not like they're using, like, one-for-one -one removal on, on Dream Trawler anyway. Dream Trawler's not doesn't seem very good against the deck filled with Doom Foretold and Sweepers. It's possible I need to keep a time wipe or two they to deal with dance, honestly. I guess we got Veto for that. Cut another Uro for a sh for a shifting Ceratops. 
Alright, what's the ideal land for a self mill deck running 25 lands in the Abzan self mill deck? I have no problems yet. And best of one. Um, yeah, and also remember, best of because of the algorithm, the best of one plays where best of one looks at two, like it actually it looks at two hands and generates the gives you the better hand for mana. Uh, better, yeah, hand for um, spell to mana ratio. Sorry, I'm late. That because of that. You're always going to have better mana in best of one. But with that being said, I think 25 sounds like a good, without, you know, seeing the deck and the curve and all that kind of stuff, that does sound like a good number of lands to have access to. Should have just done that last turn. Like it. Ugh. I can't give Ceratops haste. Did I already draw my card for turn? I didn't. I would have been able to give Ceratops haste. Should have drawn first. Let's try this. If you show remorse, I'll show the strength. Here we go. Yeah, it's true. Yep, I couldn't draw. Oh, that's true. I could not draw first because yeah, the trigger happens at the beginning of the upkeep. Why are they not bouncing Arcbow? I guess that's why. sub four months in a row thank you so much don't worry i got this our tenth sub of the day
I've done the hero they just thing. not make a creature with Castle Ardenville? Like drawing the frilled mystic. Twenty six. Fairies at one. There goes nothing. No, I can't. I can't cast veto or frill mist. I can't cast those because it's a fairy. Yeah, I thought like if I take the Ashiok, maybe they just they just cast the dance like right then. I think this might be a bad idea. I think taking this is better for me. I wish this was an untap land because I need seven mana for finding another uh, agent of treachery. cards. Scry one to the top. Gross. Gross. I really wanted to grab um I 
Agent of Treachery. So I know one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's one more Agent of Treachery in here in the next five cards. I don't, I don't think I can win this with how many cards I have. Anymore. Especially with how they get to plus Ashiok again and make another 2-3. I would have stolen their 2-3 and then had my Field Mist to kill their Ashiok. Because I can't I just can't really afford any more cards getting exiled. That's what I would have done. But it's pretty over now. Now I'm just going to steal Ashiok. Um, I will be sated. Your heroics are but a dream to me. Ten cards. It's not really... <clears throat> don't really think I can kill them in time. Game three. That was a game that if we were on the play, I think we would have easily won. Because if we were on the play, we would have had turn three for Old Mystic to counter there to Fairy. But we were not on the play. And we lost. I would love to have the exact same hand we just had that game, basically. I think if we have that exact same hand, we're golden. Mm. The sand's not nearly as good. So before I had, you know, Paradise Druid and Frilled Mystic. Um, no, I mean, the sand's just not very good. All right, this could work. It's not bad. So this is a match, this is a game, I guess. Better not have Dovin's Veto. This is a game where I'm just going to be completely relying on Vivian's Arcbow for winning it all for me. you out of time hey Kendis I've got time dope
don't know why I didn't just play the, the white source. Oh, <clears throat> I guess I don't really, I don't have anything that costs double white in my deck right now. for plan B as soon as I think of one. I'll protect you. Come on. Kai's Wrath, not even the one where I would draw cards. Ugh. Hey, Avatar of Hope. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Avatar of Hope. Good old prophecy. Card right there. No, it's a four I nine. As I go. Bleh. A little awkward. Why don't I just bounce Agent of Treachery? <clears throat> I was thinking, like, you know, make them tap out and everything, but maybe we should just bounce Agent of Treachery. That's what I should have done. I should just bounce Agent Treachery. Yeah, I that's what we did the previous game. I upkeep Arc Bow a whole lot to keep it around through Doom Foretold. Ouch.
Hmm. Worked out. That worked out quite well. Vivian's arc bow is sweet. Was sweet, and now you know, like, we're just ahead. We got the veto. This is looking good. I may not even counter that. Two, three, four. I don't think I do, right? Like, that's probably fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I really need to make sure that we get to count, like we have to counter Dance with the Mans. Sweet. Dude, that was a pretty impressive match there. Yeah, that, that was awesome. That was a very impressive match. Bant Arcbo. Some good stuff here. Oh, thumbnails are up. Right. So I need to go get the thumbnail for... Let's see. Uh, was it Demir Control? And okay, let's go. Upload the thumbnail. Okay, sorry about that. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, even though, yeah, that was the, the record there, but even though that was the record for Demir Control, I honestly felt very good about the deck, which is kind of weird. 
but I felt really good about it afterwards. Uh, I should have just grow spiraled first. I would have rather gotten rid of this paradise druid. But I so basically I think I wanted to go grow spiral into Uro into Dream Trawler. I think that's that's my plan. And so I want to keep all the lands. Which obviously we need we need one more land now. Cause we drew Druid, Druid, Kenrith. So we need a land. But then I can have turn four Dream Trawler. Come on, land. Yeah. And we'll just get a green land, I guess. The good old double basic forest dream trawler. Mana base. But yeah, it would, would be nice to have the Frilled Mystic here instead of Druid, that's for sure. I need to be worried about gray merchants. Yeah, they're trying to set up a, a big gray merchant. And of course, we're just holding up Arcbow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, Frilled Mystic. Darn. Um. So what, Tulsimer could... If I grab Tulsimer, I kill this Murderous Rider. And then they just drain for two, four, six, eight, ten... 11. Or I get the Dream Trawler and they get to drain for 13, but then I have another Dream Trawler in play. Hey, oh, yeah, because I have, I have Ambusher. Yeah, I should get Tulsmer. Because, yeah, Ambusher. Cause, so then I'll just start gaining life and then we can. I guess I could have just killed the Nightmare Shepherd instead of that, actually. This thing's a 4-4. I forgot that that thing was going to be a 4-4. One loyalty short... Yeah, I forgot that thing was going to be a 4-4. Four -four. Should have just killed the Nightmare Shepherd. I 
I had 10 power as far as blocking Timurit goes. That's a good card. I have a pretty sweet turn here. No, I don't have any stream webcam recommendation for streaming. So of course I I don't want Grey Merchant to die, right? So I can't kill with those things. So All right, I need full control of this thing. All right, how are we going to do this? All right, so we need to put this wolf into play. And it's going to fight Gray Merchant. But in response to that, I'm going to cast this other ambusher that's going to fight the shepherd. So we gain three life there, gain three life here. Okay. Sweet. And then every end step, we're gonna put two wolves in, gain six life, fight two things. And you had it from there. Oh, right. I forgot that Knight of Shepherd was an enchantment that could have Knight of Autumn. I guess I could have done that, too. But we get to gain life. I, I could I would have had to do that a long time ago before, like, that turn. Like, that turn, we wanted to get the more, more wolves and gain life. With Tulsimar being in play. Hmm. So obviously Devout Decree looks good. So does Wicked Wolf and Knight of Autumn. Because honestly, I'm really scared of uh, Witch's Oven. Like if they have Witch's Oven, their their deck's a lot better. And then just another time wipe. So that's, that's a lot of stuff to bring in, though. I don't really want... I don't know if I want Kenny. I don't want Thrix. I guess Thrix blocks Shepard and blocks like their other flyers and stuff, too. All right, maybe I don't play Wicked Wolf. How do we fit all this stuff in here? Basically, everything in our deck's just fine <laughs> in this matchup. Um... Yeah, not sure. Yeah, sure. I, sure, it's it's... Uh, playing pretty well right now, though. Maybe I just don't play the time wipes. All right, we won't play time wipe. And we'll cut an Uro. And we're at 63. And Kenny, like, there's nothing wrong with Kenny, but I guess we're just going to take out Kenny because I got to take something out. And I'm at 62. I trim an arc bow? That seems weird, trimming an arc bow. No, we don't trim an arc bow. All right, another Uro and a Spiral. Okay. I, I shouldn't be trying to grow Spiral. Oh, well. Hey, J-Jack. No green. Ugh. No ramp. Yeah. 
Maybe I should have just taken out a Dream Trawler. Just play two. Got a trivia question right. Well planned. No. New. No. Not the witch's oven. Hmm. So I can pay two life to spiral and ambusher. I don't really need a spiral. We can just discard the spiral to arc bow. Yeah, this is. This is a lot of ping damage here. Called familiar, a Yara of Witch's Oven, which is why I'm playing all four Night of Autumns right now. Because, like I said, I'm I'm worried about Witch's Oven. Yeah, Demir felt good though. It felt it felt a lot better than that than the record indicates, honestly. I was very happy with the deck. We had a lot of one landers, just a, a ton of one landers. Um just kind of some bad variants in that round. Gain that life back. Yeah, Dream Trawler is not not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. The main question is if I want to activate Arc Bow for three or for five or cast the Ambusher. And I kind of feel like I want to activate Arc Bow for five. Hmm. I was hoping to find Tulsimer. But good, no Grey Merchant. That does put five cards into the graveyard, so we can Uro. Yay, Knight of Autumn. Let's Uro and... 
give Dream Trawler another bonus. And then I can Night of Autumn away the oven. Back up to 16. About to be 14. Yeah, Trawler has been really impressive and just playing with this deck. I like this deck. Get some good. Good band magic here. Riders are quite murderous tonight. So with having Frilled Mystic right there, I can, I know I can use Arcbow to put in Frilled Mystic if I want to counter something. Otherwise, I could just play Ambusher and save the Frilled Mystic. I'll just save the Frilled Mystic. I want to counter Grey Merchant. This game's all but over now. I guess I don't get by casting that to put another counter on the dream troll I don't get my 3-3 I guess I shouldn't have count cast that but it's all good that's a 4 and 0 oh. and here we go we're going for the 5 win with Ban Arcbow Final boss time. Final boss time. Red 27. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Thanks for for seven. Uh, 
I had to refresh my chat. So I missed some chat messages. So my hype were gone. Just two for one, the two for one. Um, I'm not actually that excited about the Final Fantasy VII Remaster. Cause it's, it's you know on like PlayStation and Xbox. I I don't have either of those systems, so I'm not that excited about it. You know, it's it's just I guess I'm just not gonna be able to play it. I I love the first one. And you know, the first one's good enough for me. Should have just done that during my turn, then I would have had that Uro to play. Now we get to play Uro. Uro. Card is good. I guess I should just be playing Night of Autumn as a 4 3, right? Like, they're not going to have an artifact or enchantment. I should just. I could just play it as a 4 3 right there. All right, Ceratops, Vitos, we'll take out Knight, um, I think I want to keep one time wipe in, I think I like having the one time wipe in case things get crazy. I think. Do I just take out Tulsimers? I mean, there's nothing wrong with Tulsimer, though. Maybe I don't play the Time Wipe and don't play a Paradise Druid and keep the Tulsimers. Like basically, if they have, uh, I should play a time wipe over. We'll play one time wipe, one Tulsimer. It, you know, if they have like the the cutthroat on turn two, like that's how I'm gonna lose. Or I mean, it doesn't have to be specifically on turn two, but if they have an early cutthroat that gets large. That's how I could lose. This 
This is kind of awkward with all tap lands. Cool. Hmm. I guess if they counter the arc bow, they're not playing cutthroat, so that's good for me. Darn. What? Uh, they must not have a land. Yeah, the, the reason to do that is you don't have a land, so this card's just going to be a land. Oh, no. And, just, and no land. Um... Oh, wait, wait. Stop on my end step. Thank you. We're just not going to play anything into counter magic anymore. We're just going to be activating Arc Bow. Well, that's unfortunate. Keep them from drawing two. Next turn, I can cast Uro and have Dovin's Veto back up. Oh no, I, I can't. I don't don't have enough blue green like the the two single white sources. I can't actually do that. Never mind. Pretty close to find a dream trawler, I think. Look, dig another six cards. No, I did not have. I don't have the ability to play Uro from graveyard and hold up counter, because that requires white, blue, green, green, blue, blue, and I don't have that. I have two white. I don't have that color combination.
Boom, there we go. They probably just had a handful of counter spells. And Arc, you know, can't can't counter Vivian's Arc Bow. Handful of counters. Once you have the Arc Bow in play. It's GG's. So there we go. That's Ban Arcbow 5-0. Definitely excited about it. It felt it felt really good. It felt fun to play. I liked it a lot. I think that our, our worst cards in our deck were probably the Kenrith and the Thrix. Probably the Kenrith. Being the worst. Unfortunately. I'm a big fan of Kenrith and stuff, but um That could be that could maybe be upgraded. Honestly, maybe just playing another Tulsmer, maybe just playing Agent of Treachery main deck instead of Kenrith would be more impactful. Um, yeah, like that's that's the the slot to to maybe replace. Um, you yeah, know, I want to play the deck a little bit more, but that could maybe just be like another Agent of Treachery, like just play Agent of Treachery main. Um, Night of Autumn was just always awesome. Could maybe just have a third Night of Autumn main or um, something like that. But yeah, it could just be another Tulsimer for aggro. Because there is just a lot of mono red running around. So maybe you just want three Tulsimers because of mono red being everywhere. Yeah, it could just be that. Said you you sometimes struggle with with mono red with this deck yeah so probably just want a third Tulsimer because that Tulsimer night pack ambusher combo is pretty great yeah um but there we go and then plus Tulsimer makes the side you know the sideboard wicked wolves and everything better also yeah just get another Tulsimer in there and if you and if you um. If you have too many Tulsimers in hand, because they are legendary, you know what you can do. Discard them to Vivian's Arcbow. There we go. All right, so that's Ban Arcbow. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. If you're playing it yourself, uh, let me know how it's going. And yeah, I'll try this one later in ranked, um, you know, later on in the week. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Ban Arcbow, and I will see you for the next video.